In this demo, we're going to see how you can use QR codes to make text in your drawings scannable using a mobile device's camera. QR codes are those funny boxes that you see in various public places like advertisements or posters. A QR code is simply a way of making some data, usually text, scannable by a mobile device. You might consider scanning the QR codes created in this demo by pausing the video and scanning the QR codes from the screen using your mobile device. If you don't have a QR reader application for your mobile, you can find free and commercial apps on the various app stores, which will allow you to scan QR codes using your phone or tablet. This is one of the AutoCAD sample drawings of a high school in Nashua, New Hampshire. In the title block, we've added an mText object containing the URL to the website of the company who authored the drawing. We'll turn this text into a QR code by picking the text and finding the new optically scannable property in the properties palette. When we change this to yes, the text is drawn as a QR code and displays grips for repositioning the QR code and resizing it. Note that it is still a text object, it just displays differently. Let's change the justification to bottom left and then we'll reposition and resize the QR code using the grips. When we scan this QR code, depending on our mobile app, we are taken to the website we defined in the mText object. By combining QR codes with fields, we can create QR codes whose content automatically updates as we modify the drawing. Suppose we had a manhole cover located at this street intersection. Using the QR leader command, we'll add a leader associated with the center of the manhole. When we place the annotation for the leader, we'll insert a field instead of typing text, and we'll use the new geolocation field type that's included in this app. This field type displays the geographic coordinates of the field, or in the case of a leader, it displays the location of the leader arrowhead. As we can see, the QR leader command automatically creates a QR code, but we could have done this in two steps by first using the leader command to place the leader in field, and then making the field optically scannable using the properties palette. When we scan the QR code, depending on our mobile app, we're taken to a map with a pin located at the geographic coordinate scan from the QR code. Since the QR code is displaying the text of a field, and fields are live data, if we move the location of the manhole, the QR code updates automatically. When we scan the updated QR code, notice how the pin displayed on the map corresponds to the new location of the manhole. For our last example, we'll look at using QR codes to make block properties scannable. This is another AutoCAD sample drawing of a process schematic. The drawing contains several blocks with several hidden attributes representing components in the facility. One of these attributes contains the URL of the manual for the actual component. Let's place a QR code to display the text for the manual. The QR code command creates an mText object and makes it optically scannable after it creates the text. Here again, we'll use a field to compute the text, in this case by placing a field that displays the value of the manual attribute on the block. When we scan this QR code, dependent on our mobile app, our device displays the maintenance manual for the component in the facility. Because we've used fields for our text, if we change the block to a different component type, the QR code updates automatically. When we scan the QR code, we're always taken to the right manual for the component. Those are some examples of using QR codes in AutoCAD. Thanks for watching.